Hey, this is Mariela from The Functional Company. So I want to share with you uh, a little bit of information regarding vitamin C because not all vitamin C is created equal and so the effect on the body is not the same. So uh, one of the main things that I mentioned is when we're looking to support the immune system, uh, we really want to do it as best as possible in terms of the way that the body would like it in the most natural state. So that means from whole foods, uh, getting vitamin C from whole foods is the best way. Uh, but basically in a supplement form, we're also looking for it to come from a whole food. So if you look at the back on a label, you'll see vitamin C as ascorbic acid, and that is only one component of vitamin C. In nature, it actually is, is a full complete vitamin. It actually uh, has these bioflavonoids, these other parts of it. For example, in an orange, you'll have like the, the, the white part of the orange that has different um, nutrients that help absorb uh, vitamin C in the body and help to assimilate it in the body. And that's why when we get a natural form of vitamin C, we don't need a huge, like an entire gram of vitamin C just to support the immune system function. So for maintenance purposes, uh, this is my personal opinion, you know, this is a not medical advice, uh, but for maintenance purposes, we just want to keep a steady, uh, you know, uh, inflow of vitamin C from a whole food source, right? We want to make sure that when you look at the back, you see where it came from and the dose of the vitamin C is not going to be nearly as high for maintenance purposes. What's great about vitamin C, it also serves additional purposes. One of them is that it helps to support the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are these glands that are on top of your kidneys, the little triangular glands, and they're your stress glands. Uh, and so they're kind of like the ones that are used during times of fear, times of fight or flight, any type of stress you use or your, your body is leaning upon these adrenal glands, or if there's a lot of inflammation, if there's infection in the body, it leans on the uh, adrenal glands. And so then they get uh, taxed, you know, they get depleted. And so vitamin C helps to replenish uh, the adrenal glands. And then this helps because over time, what happens is if we're leaning too much, if we're stressed out over time, or we get sick, uh, we want to replenish the adrenal glands so that we aren't fatigued. We want to replenish to a, a normal amount of energy throughout the day. So vitamin C is great for that. An additional bonus for vitamin C is that it helps with the production of collagen inside of the body, and it just helps overall with the elasticity and, and collagen in the body. So it's a great uh, synergistic effect with collagen. Uh, so that's just an added bonus. But when it comes to the immune system, this is something I like to do is just consume it from a whole food source. So this is, uh, for example, on functionalco.com, we have it from Health Force, and it comes from a certain type of cherry that we get this uh, vitamin C in. So you'll, you'll be able to see the dose that it has on there, and you could take the dose that it says as a recommended dose, or you can double it if you'd like. Um, and then if I were to get sick, then I would actually do that more regularly. Instead of just twice a day, I might do it every three hours or something like that, you know? Um, so the other thing I would mention is the ascorbic acid, where it's just ascorbic acid. Remember that, that you're gonna see a huge quantities of vitamin C, um, but it doesn't fully absorb into the body. And it's also known to actually shut down the stomach acid function. So this is one reason I don't like to use um, synthetic vitamin C is because oftentimes people get stomach uh, upset because it shuts down stomach acid and you need the stomach acid for a lot of different reasons to digest food to assimilate nutrients but also stomach acid is there to kill any bugs that are going in through your digestive tract from food that you're eating or anything that's going through that tube, through your esophagus, down into your stomach, the stomach acid is so potent that it'll kill and neutralize the bugs so they don't go deeper, right? So we wanna maintain the acidity of the body, and that's why we don't wanna have just pounding these uh, vitamin C pills, these tablets, uh, you end up getting a stomach ache, it shuts down stomach acid, and then we're actually reducing a different part of the immune system, which is the stomach acid, which is a barrier to the outside world. So that's one reason why I, I don't like the vitamin C uh, that's just as ascorbic acid in high quantities. Now, the one exception that I really have seen to be quite effective is uh, intravenous vitamin C and liposomal vitamin C. So these are vitamin Cs that you'll have in higher doses, but liposomal vitamin C is something that you can uh, get online at, on Amazon. You look it up, liposomal vitamin C. And uh, what it is, is it comes with a, a fat, 
like a fatty acid and so it helps to assimilate and absorb into the body a lot faster and a lot more effectively right so that's one thing and then the other thing is intravenous vitamin c where you're actually bypassing the stomach and it's going right into your circulatory system those are usually high doses of vitamin c and dentists use this in order to instead of antibiotics to handle infections uh, prevent infections when they do surgery in the mouth specifically biological dentists right because they don't want to give antibiotics at every turn so this is one of the techniques that they use is and so this is these are the things that i would recommend and this is something that i think you know if you're doing maintenance then you're going to want to do uh, vitamin c in a whole food form uh, which you can get on functionalco.com and then um, if you're going to already Already sick you're gonna want to this is what I would do for myself I would actually do it a lot more regularly or I would switch to also liposomal vitamin C or if I could get my hands on intravenous vitamin C that would be spectacular all of those things are gonna be uh, things that we can do for the immune system to boost it maintain it and that's for myself and for my entire family it's great for kiddos the the whole food form vitamin C because it comes from whole foods. So is it safe for kids? Yeah, it's food and it just boosts the immune system, right? So for all ages, that's something that I think is a fantastic uh, way to get uh, some support for the immune system. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the flip side.